ticket has to do now is put out the SPAN and you see it's opening an opt note so that he can write whatever he wants to. Is that that convenient? Well, it is very convenient, I think. And uh, let's see, you're writing down an upcoming appointment. Are you, after you're off the phone, can you put in your S planner? Well, there is a quick way to do that. Let's say uh, it's a birthday party of your friend on the 1st of September, right? Which is two days. It is short. Short notice. It's good. Uh, probably. <laughs> you can just pull the S planner and use the S pen now. And I'm not talking about entering values in a spreadsheet, I'm talking about actually writing on your own calendar, right? TK? Yes. Just like that. Come on, TK, we'll be more creative if that's the date. <laughs> TK is waiting for our invitation. So, you see, he, he changed color now. Yes. How is that possible? That's very easy. He just had to toggle from one to another. Toggle? Between, yeah, toggle. <laughs> <laughs> so you press, the, you press down the, the button on the S pen, okay. and it will switch from a preset paintbrush to another one, or to the rubber time. Okay. So that anything you can do is very simple. Which brings us back to this analog and digital aspect again, actually. Exactly, exactly. Well, now you've got the date of your friend's birthday in the book. Why don't we send him a birthday card? We've integrated Facebook in this perfectly. TK, can you click on that date? and uh, click on the Facebook button. Yes, right, thank you. There is a birthday template. Can we add a picture? So you can take any picture you want. Any picture you want. All right. There's no devil here. And TK, can we now sign it or send some kind of private messages on it? And again, there you can handwrite it and this is a very personalized message actually. Exactly. Thank you. Well, now there's one last thing to do. We need to send a birthday reminder to Jim for the party. And it's easy. And this is something I haven't told you about.